So we look at the <coughs> part AB by itself, and then we look at the part BC <coughs> by itself. <coughs> and let's say on A, I could have, let's say, AX, AY, the fixed and couple, MA. Then on the this is A, B, this is B, C. Then we have the force here, 2500 Newton. And the distance is known is 0.6, is 0.9. Then on the top of that, you got the reaction, and that's C Y. So that's just the two part. Then we come back and look at point B. At this point, it's a pin that could draw two unknowns, B X and B Y. Then on the end here, you will have exact same force as B X. You're gonna have exact same force as B1. So that gives you the <coughs> free body diagrams for parts AB as well as part BC. And <coughs> if you go through exact same count the way we did before, then what you get here now is you get AX, AY, MA, and you add it to more, so you have BX, Uy plus you have Cy. So that's the total number of unknown forces in the given problem, which is basically six unknown forces. But <coughs> by doing it in isolation, which means you have a part on the left and you have a part on the right, you could write three equations of equilibrium for the part here, you can do the exact same thing for the part BC. And that gives you enough equations so you can solve every unknown in this problem. So let's start from here. <coughs> we sum the force in X. And we sum the force in X, this immediately gives you the force BX as zero. Then we sum the force in y that gives us negative by negative 2500 plus cy and that goes to zero then i can sum the moments let's say about point b that should go to zero so you get 2500 And multiply this by 0.6, that's the clockwise moment. Change that to clockwise for a negative sign. Plus, we have Cy. <coughs> the distance is 1.5, it's kind of clockwise, so it stays in the same direction. So, <coughs> that should give us the reaction Cy. That's 2500, 0.6 over 1.5, so that's 0, 15, so that should be 1,000 Newton. Came out positive, so that keeps going up. So once I have this, I can come back here. I should be able to solve for Py, that will be negative 2,500 plus a thousand so that's negative 1500 Newton and it was taken positive going down so this is going to be actually positive 1500 Newton and it goes up so <coughs> we 
cast reaction we need we just need to see why out of here we have that at this point now <coughs> this is going to be zero this is going to be negative 1500 newtons you notice that <coughs> this was going down and going down here is negative so <coughs> this will go up but still have the same negative magnitude so that's for the force on the part AB. Now th this distance is known as 1.2 meters. <coughs> and we go through the exact same thing. We sum the force in X. That should go to zero. That immediately gives you AX plus BX as zero. Or AX goes to zero. Then you're going to sum the force in y direction. You get AY going up plus BY. That goes to 0. So you get AY plus negative 1500. That's 0. So we get AY as 1500. Newton came out positive. So it keeps going up. So that's the <coughs> second unknown, then I could always write the moment about point A and that should go to zero. <coughs> so what you got here is this fixed in moment, that's M A and then you have moment needed this, that's 1500 multiplied by 1.2 except this is negative, that plus and that goes to zero. So this is counterclockwise. The way this direction is shown is also going to be counterclockwise. <coughs> and that gives us the fixed end moment. It's going to be positive. It's going to be zero, zero, and 1800 Newton meter. And that goes counterclockwise. So I mean, that's your process which allows you to solve for every unknown in that problem. <coughs> the only thing as I said was being consistent with what you choose. I mean if you choose that going down and it came out negative then you have to stay with the same sign and here to make sure that, that your assumption remains consistent on both ends.